Good morning, good evening and good afternoon and welcome to a special episode. Today we are talking about gear. So I get this question asked so, so many times and after almost 200 vlogs, well, I kind of made up my mind on the best equipment to use or at least the one I think is the best. That's what I'm talking about, noisy cricket. I'm going to give you four different packs that you can use for different vlogging style and use cases. The first one is going to be basically the basic pack, the starter pack. The second one is going to be the kind of adventure pack. The third one is going to be, let's call it the travel pack. And the last one is going to be the quality pack. All those packs have different usage and different price point, obviously. Before you start vlogging, ask yourself those few questions. First, you have to define what you will be shooting. Are you going to be shooting inside your house, in the street, in the mall, at a concert mainly? or while you're traveling. It's very important for you to define that. That will help you find the right gear. Before we start the video, a lot of you are gonna ask what product exactly I was talking about. Everything is linked below in the description. There is a link to Amazon. And guess what? Also helps me in creating content every day. So make sure to click the links below for any product you have questions about. All right, now let's continue to get ready. So basically the first pack is cheap and easy and it is perfect for you to try vlogging. And why I say try is that vlogging might look sexy and easy but it is a lot of work, it is difficult and doing it every day is kind of strenuous. So if you want to try it, I highly recommend to start with the first pack, the cheap and easy one, the starter. What you need for your starter pack is simply your phone, selfie stick and a mini tripod. As a phone you can get a uh, Google Pixel, you can get an iPhone 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, whatever you want. Basically most of the phones, uh, smartphones nowadays, shoot in 1080 pixels, which is a great quality for YouTube. And using your phone makes it so easy for you to spend no money and try vlogging. I have a friend, she just started vlogging and she used her iPhone 6 to shoot the whole vlog. It looks great. And you know what, it gives her a feel of it and that's perfect, it's low budget and you can really go very far with it. So let's just recap the good points. You already have the gear most likely, it is cheap, it is lightweight, it fits in your pocket and you always have it with you. Now what are the negative points? It is fragile, you don't want it to drop. The battery life is going to be affected because you also use it as a phone. The sound quality is usually not great and you get a lot of background noise. The image quality in low light is usually not that great. It has a lot of artifacts. It's, it kind of looks weird for most of the phones. Last but not least, you can't change the lens. It's difficult to zoom. Although I have to say that they create those little lenses that you can put on top of your camera. I link it below in the description, you can see, and those are pretty cool if you want to try it. So that's recap for pack one. Guys, this is a must. If you're trying to vlog or create more videos for your channel or your business, this is something I highly recommend you to do is just try with your phone first. But now let's have a look at our second pack, the adventure pack. The adventure park is great for people who will be in challenging environment, who will be everywhere, are afraid to break their equipment and stuff. It requires mainly for your camera, it is a GoPro or any other action camera that you might want to use. The great thing is that you can attach it anywhere. It's super tiny. And why is I recommend GoPro? is simply because they are kind of all over around the world and when you rent equipment usually they have special mounts that they can use with gopros and not so much for all action cameras you can also save a lot of money by using other action cameras but they do a pretty good job with that one so on top of your gopro you also want to have a mini tripod that you can mount the gopro on it's super practical if you do time lapse if you want to do recording of scenes where you're not holding the camera a selfie stick for the gopro which is really convenient whenever you're doing action sport or whatever to have that wider angle and obviously you can buy a lot of small accessories some of them you don't even know what they do i link good pack below basically 
you can mount your GoPro on so many items. So it's super great, it's super convenient, it's a great pack. So what are the plus points of that adventure pack? You have a waterproof camera, you can change different casings depending on what environment you're in. It is lightweight, it takes like no space, it fits in your pocket. You have a very wide angle with the camera, which is great. It won't break easily, you can mount it on so many things and the GoPro starting I think the Hero 4 or three black we're shooting in 4k so which is great hero 5 is even better right now it's shooting also at 4k but you have a screen at the back to see whatever you're shooting which is great i have seen it in action it's really nice now the downside of the gopro is that you can't zoom it's super wide angle which can be a real drawback if you're trying to shoot something far the sound quality is not amazing up to the GoPro Hero 4, if you're using a waterproof casing, you can barely hear whenever you're speaking. You really have to crank up the volume after and you get a lot of background noise. That being said, with the GoPro Hero 5, it is out of the box, waterproof, and you have many microphones around the camera, which makes it way, way better. Another drawback is in low light, it doesn't look that great in my opinion. So that's for the drawbacks. Now let's look at pack number three. All right guys, so pack number three is basically the standard vlogging pack. It's a simple compact camera that people use and they will simply just hold it like that or drop it anywhere and just film themselves. With that starter pack, the cameras I could recommend, the Sony RX100 Mark IV, Mark V, you can even go lower, Mark III and the Canon G7X Mark 1 or 2, it doesn't matter. And on top of that, I also recommend having a tripod like that one, that's super convenient. And I'll show you after why also the tripods are great on top of just dropping the camera and filming yourself. And there is another accessory that's highly, highly recommended with those camera, and it is basically those furry patches. And I'll show you how they look. Fluffy patches, like that, that you're gonna put on top of your micro right here. It's highly going to improve the quality of your sound when there is a lot of wind or there is a lot of background noise. It's gonna filter that out quite a bit. It won't replace an external microphone, but most of those cameras don't accept anyways external microphones. So that's kind of the accessories I recommend in that pack. Now, what are the main advantages of that one? So basically it's, it's super lightweight, as you can see. It fits in your pocket. The camera, for example, the Sony RX100 Mark 4 and 5, they can shoot up to 960 frames per second, which is absolutely amazing for slow motion. If you wanna slow down the frames and create those slow motion effects, it's awesome. And the Sony also shoots in 4K. Now the Canon doesn't do that, but it's cheaper. So you've gotta know what you need. And another great advantage is that you've got a certain zoom range within the camera. It really allows you to like capture super wide or super close. Now on top of that, you've got a great picture quality. Uh, the Canon and the Sony are really well rated for pictures. As I mentioned, you're gonna get a better sound quality if you use those furry patches. And also, most of them are stabilized, which is huge. Like, if I'm walking and I'm filming at the same time, it's gonna be shaky. Make sure it is stabilized. It will make it so much smoother. Now, what are the downsides? So the downside, I would say, are mainly the fact that it is very fragile, okay? If I break it for some reason, and that happens a lot, like with dust or whatever, the zoom won't come out anymore. And that's a very common problem to those cameras. And, and the thing is that you can't just replace the zoom usually. You have to like change camera and instead of just changing a lens, you end up like buying a new camera, which is quite a budget. Unless you have a lot of followers, you're monetizing very well your channel. You might be happy to drop a few cameras on the ground from time to time. Totally broken. But until then, you know, save money where you can. The other thing is that it's not waterproof, it's not weather sealed, so you've got to watch out of the elements, as I mentioned, the dust, the water, the rain, the mist, whatever, you've got to be careful with that. It, it can really damage your camera. And that's about it. I really want to end phases. So many people use that as the pocket camera. To be honest, I don't have one personally yet. And that's something I really want to get maybe in the future, another addition to my gear. In some situations, they won't let you film with your high quality gear, like the professional gear, because they think you're doing some kind of advertisement or paid work. But once someone sees someone filming himself with those small cameras, they're usually just making fun of you and they'll let you film anything you want anywhere. All right, that being said, let's move on to the high quality gear. 
And when I say high quality, it's really for the people who are into filmmaking. So let's let's dive into it. Pack number four, high quality pack, filmmakers pack, whatever you want to call it. It involves hybrid or DLSR camera. Like for example, a Canon 80D, Panasonic G85, GH4, GH5, whatever camera you want to think of that's really high quality and with an interchangeable lens. And that is, I think, the main thing about it. With those cameras, what you want to have is a tripod, but it has to be solid enough to hold on to your gear. So right here, I've got a Joby metal tripod that's really sturdy. It can hold really well the weight of those cameras. And as I will show you in a second, you can also use it as a selfie stick. On top of that tripod, what is highly recommended is to have an external microphone like that one or that one. To be honest, it really depends on you and your budget. Right now I'm using it, so I can't show you mine, but it's a Shure VP83, I think. Link below in the description to the product. And let me show you with my Panasonic G85, which is the one I use to vlog all the time with except for the past three days because I broke the lens and the camera and I need to get them fixed. So that being said, the cool thing with that is that you can do that. Just like Casey Neistat, you know, that famous vlogger, he kind of showed the world, apparently it's him, how to use those bandy tripods for selfies. And basically you can just hold them like that at arm's length, which is great. It gives you that much more reach. Film yourself, the scenery, higher, however you want it. It's really nice, super practical. And then the thing is you just like attach it anywhere to take any kind of pictures. So on top of the camera, you can have so many different lenses, which is absolutely amazing. You could have like 7200 lenses. You can have your 12, 60 millimeter lenses, just, just so that you know, this, this is not for the Panasonic G85. This is for my Nikon D750, my photography gear. This is the lens I use with the Panasonic. Sadly, it's broken right now, so. I can't really use it, but I will get it fixed soon. So what are the advantages of that pack? So first of all, the sound quality, if you get an external microphone, as I mentioned, you get like an amazing sound quality. And I think the sound really makes up for a lot of videos quality. A great video with, with a very crappy sound will really turn you off. You can use many different lenses. So if you want to have like a portrait lens, or if you want to zoom super far, if you want to have a super wide angle, you can do so many things with different lenses, which is great. Then the quality of the picture is usually way, way, way better. In my opinion, okay, from what I've seen and experienced, it's better. Most of the cameras like Sony or Panasonic allows you to shoot with a neutral color profile, which will help you to color grade after if you want to add cinematic look to your videos. This is a great way. Most of them also resist better to the elements because they're weather sealed, which means that they will sustain better uh, wet conditions and dust. It doesn't mean it's waterproof. Don't, don't quote me on that. It's just resist better to the element up to a certain point so don't push it too far also most of them do 4k have a better picture quality in low light and most of them have a stabilization in body and in the lens which makes it absolutely amazing to shoot because everything gets so stable and that's super important if you want to see in detail the panasonic g85 i have a review on it so you can check that video and you can then dig into the Panasonic G85 in details if you want. Last but not least, you have a lot of options available, controls that are unlocked on this camera, things you can tweak, which is perfect. All right, now what's the disadvantages? Well, it might be obvious, but it's super bulky, it's heavy. A lot of people might be turned off by seeing that camera and will become very shy talking to you or at letting you film some places. And most importantly, guys, it's pricey. I mean, the moment you get into that category, it never stops. You're like, oh, great, I got a new body, but then I want a new lens, I want this, I want a new microphone. It just never stops. So. Just make sure before you go there that you're gonna really use it completely and you're gonna use all the features of what you're buying. I know it's a great toy, but yeah. And that wraps up the fourth package. All right guys, that was a pretty long and descriptive review of which gear is right for you when you're starting to vlog and what kind of vlog you're trying to do. Now remember, all those packages can be mixed together. But for example, I can say that I have the quality package mixed with the adventure package. And I also have a phone, so everyone can be a vlogger if you have a phone, a smartphone with a camera. All right, if you made it that far in the video, it really means that you're interested in vlogging. 
So what I really really can recommend you is to check also a few other videos I will link them below. Two of them are from Casey Neistat where he talks about gear, another one where he talks about the importance of a story in a video and Last but not least guys, what makes you watch a movie for two hours, remember, is a story. You get like hooked on a story, you want to know what's gonna happen, you kind of have an idea but then it changes. You really need to work on that, okay? And sometimes, you know what, when you're daily vlogging it's difficult, so I highly recommend you to start with standard park, see how you feel about it and then move along and get better gear. Alright guys, that being said, if you have a question or a comment, just leave them below. I will make sure to respond to you guys and if you like that video, you made it that far, please leave a thumbs up for the video. It will really help other people and make sure you subscribe to the vlog that I created. So it's just that channel, hit the subscribe button and I will see you tomorrow for new adventures. See you guys, bye bye.